And has Mark left the first opportunity? He has. Needs good cueing. Long straight pot. And it is one. Good straight cueing. Beautiful shot. Stun across for the red, it's on the black cushion. And if he gets a good angle in the black, the see the two reds at the back of the punt just through the gap of there. If he can get the cue ball through that gap, well, they'll just split beautifully. Didn't want to catch the red in the way past, but he's still okay. You see the two reds closest to the black, the back of the bunch, can get it through that gap. Oh, right. it's too much angle to find that gap here. I think that'll do nicely. Hmm. 17. Well, going by the two previous frames, it's not looking good for Mark Selby. <laughs> That's a good recovery shot. That's a Pretty fabulous fun. recovery shot in the last two frames and a bit. Well, a lot of people watching the frames before these last two and a half and thought, questioned Ronnie's desire and commitment to win this match, the shots he was playing. 33. Can't question it now. 41. There's not another player in the game could have produced this sort of performance. Forty-eight. Mark has beaten Ronnie on two occasions at the Crucible. Forty-nine. Well, it's just unbelievable. Mark Selby hasn't 56. had a chance in the last three frames. That's the thing to do to do these last, to zero these last three frames the way he's done it. He's just found a gear from somewhere. No, no, would you believe it? Would you believe it? Ronnie O'Sullivan, 64. Away from a place in the final. Well, after what? We've seen in the first semi-final today, anything's possible. But if Mark Selby was to somehow do this, wow. Well, I would have seen everything One. today, I tell you. This would be the clearance of his life. Nine. Seventeen, And a very key shot coming up. If he pots the pink, leaves an angle on that red to the left of it, he can bring the difficult red into play. Now he's got the perfect angle, but the only problem is to show you that pink wobble. 23. When you move a red from potting a red, you need the white to come away from the cushion. He's got the double kiss. 24. It's not too bad, but there's an awful lot of pressure on this black. Right in the middle of the pocket. Thirty-one. Well, I think he's okay. I think he can reach the green and get over behind that red. Do you play? Two cushions and behind the red. One cushion. He's gone the two cushions, but he's not played it well. He's got into the cue ball too much. That's end of break. 34. Well, 
Mark Salby, 34. Just be playing this red weight. Just to land on the red. best he could do. He might be in trouble here. He can get thin enough. Oh, he's going to can on the black. Still a good safety though. Oh, that's a useful nudge on the yellow. If the red keeps running, that is. He is granite. Now what about this for an outcome? A hit and hope, and I'll tell you what. What an outcome he's had there. Coming off the side cushion, and he's trying to kick the red from behind. If anybody could pull it off, it's Mark Selby. That is absolute genius. What a shot. And Ronnie tapping the table. You won't see a better shot than that. Uh, calling all pockets here, though. No restraint. Oh. Wow, this is just unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. That was the problem there. But what a tough red up into the corner pocket. It's there, it's there. An absolutely wow. incredible pressure pot. And that, you would feel, will get him into the final. What a match these two players have provided. Not quite over just yet. Three. But it won't be long, you feel. Five. Every credit to Mark Selby. When he led 16-14, there looked to be only one winner, but at the time I said Ronnie O'Sullivan can come out and win three frames in a matter of half an hour. He had a 138 Twelve. clearance. Then he had a 70-odd break. And this is the first time 17. that he's beaten Mark Selby at the Crucible Theatre. What an absolute semi-final. Yeah, this has been two great, great champions. Mark Seven. congratulates Ronnie. An unbelievable comeback from the rocket, Ronnie O'Sullivan. And somehow he's got himself into tomorrow's final, beating the three times former champion on a deciding frame 17 frames to 16. Unbelievable.